In this series, we will cover the many ways HEADS enables you to discover better product designs faster by automating the exploration of your simulation models. Today, I will be showing you how to use the Siemens NX portal with HEADS to quickly set up an optimization study and allow HEADS to modify your design. I will start with an NX model and tell HEADS how to modify the inputs and then export the design in a universal CAD language to be run in the analysis of your choice. To start, I have my model already drawn inside of NX, and this is just a simple torque arm for this example. I have it extruded already, as you can see there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to have heads determine which variables we actually want to modify for this design. And so in this case, what I want to do is I want to modify the X location of this slot here, as well as the length of it and then the radii that are associated with this slot. So we're going to change the shape and, and location of this slot here. So what we do is we're going to go ahead in and we're going to go into our sketch and modify that. So right click on the sketch and edit. And this process can also be done during drawing. It doesn't have to be done after the fact, but in this case I have, I'm just going in and modifying the geometry after the fact. To start, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the variable that is associated with the, lo the X location of the slot. And so to do that, we're just going to go ahead and double click on the, on the variable there. And instead of changing the variable value, what we're going to do is we're going to change the name. And so for this case, we're going to call this X1. And you'll see here how it goes X1 equals 120 millimeters. And same for this one here, which is going to be the length of the slot. We're going to call that X2. All right, and similarly, we're also going to modify the radii here. So we're going to double click on that, call this one R1. And this R2. Now we have X1, X2, R1, and R2. And it's important to name these something that you're going to remember because when we get into HEADS, we'll see how HEADS will extract all of the values for the different geometry settings here. Uh, but they'll be called something like P2 and P0, the standard names that, that NX exports. And so it can be very difficult to recall which geometry is associated with which feature. We can also go into the Tools and Expressions window, and we'll see here how we've defined R1, R2, X1, and X2. Once we've done that, we can go ahead in and save our part. And then we can open up HEADS. And when we get into HEADS, we can see here I've already determined that I'm going to use the NX portal for my analysis. To do that, you would just click on the drop-down menu here and choose NX CAD. Or you could also go up to the, the analysis window at the top and choose your NX CAD there. My input file has already been selected. It's the, uh, it's the part file name that I have for my associated geometry. And to add that, you would just right-click in the window and add input file there. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to modify or how HEADS is going to save this geometry as a universal CAD language. And so if we click on the NX Portal tab, uh, we can see here that we have a CAD export format. And right now it's set to Parasolid. You also have the choice of IGES or the two different step versions. And what that does is basically after HEADS manipulates the geometry, it then saves the part as a Parasolid or whatever universal geometry you choose. And it will be saved with the same part name but instead of a dot part extension, it will have uh, the extension of your universal CAD language. Also, too, a good feature the, to take advantage of inside of HEADS is the visualization tab. Uh, what that does is that exports a screenshot uh, from NX. For each of your design cases, you can see how HEADS manipulated the geometry in a different way. And you can also associate those images with the results that are associated with them. And so once we have that set up, we can go ahead onto the parameters tab where I have my four variables defined, X1, X2, R1, R2. I also have my minimum and maximum variable ranges for the designs, as well as the baseline design, which is the, the design that I already have inside of NX. And so once I have my four variables defined, I can go ahead onto the tagging parameter, and I'll show you how HEADS will actually read in the, the variables from NX, and we can tell HEADS which of those variables we want to modify. Clicking on the tagging, uh, we'll see that we have our part selected and see we have here all of the different variable names for the, for the geometry in question. And we can see here how some of them have been changed from the initials, as I mentioned, the P0, P1, P2, P3. And I have X1, X2, R1, and R2, which are the variables that I want HEADS to modify. And so I go ahead up to the top where I can choose my HEADS variable that I want 
and I'm going to use the x1 variable first. I'm going to click on the cell that corresponds to the x1 inside of nx, and I'm going to tag that. Now nx2 variable in heads is selected, and so I'm going to go ahead and go to the x2 cell for nx, and I'm going to tag that. Same for r1, and the same for r2 as well. Thank you.